grief keepers call that a bacterial slime. What do I mean by a mini ugly phase? Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so like I said, what do I mean by a mini ugly phase or ugly stage in a reef tank? Well, first you have to know what the ugly phase is. And most of you guys, if you're keeping reefs for about a year now, you probably know what the ugly phase is. And it usually comes right at the beginning of your reef tank where hair algae is growing all over the place. And in my experience, what this is, is not only nutrient levels, but it's the level of bacteria that is on the surface of your live rock. And reef keepers call that a bacterial slime. And what happens in the beginning, you have a very limited amount of the bacterial slime on your live rock. And that's what encourages hair algae growth to the degree of completely unwanted amounts. And then we try all the different things, reef cleaners and tangs and different things that get rid of it. In my opinion, the only thing that gets rid of it to a substantial degree is manual remover and time. So what happens in a mini ugly phase is whenever you add a new piece of live rock that doesn't have this bacterial slime on it, you get what I have right there. See how that whole section of that new live rock is now growing? hair algae, and it's ugly. It's a mini ugly phase. If you look at this rock over here, which was in my tank for a long time, it has nothing on it. Now this piece, it's interesting because this was a new piece that I added, but look what it has all over it. What does it have? Coralline algae. So this rock right now is void of this ugly phase and it's a more non-porous type of live rock. This one back here is very porous. You'll notice in your ugly phase and in your reef tanks that the more porous rock that it is, the more hair algae is susceptible to growing on it. So this is a very light, porous piece of rock that I got from Fish Guy Mike, and now it's going through its ugly phase. I also wanted to tell you that in reef keeping over your years to keep reefs, you could have stellar water parameters and you'll still get outbreaks of hair algae. It'll come because of lack of flow. It'll just grow because of areas in the tank that are, you know, seeding small bits of algae that just are growing. Obviously it can come from higher degrees of nutrients, but this tank now is completely low in nutrients. So it's not always all about how low your nutrients are. I mean, corals grow in a tank that's low in nutrients. So why wouldn't hair algae also grow? Now, if you remember over here, I had an algae problem here a while back and I manually removed and manually removed day after day for probably about two or three weeks. And it finally disappeared because there's low nutrients in here and didn't grow back. But if you notice right here, low flow area. This is a stubborn area. It still has that hair algae there. So the point I'm trying to make in this short video, guys, is that hair algae is going to come and go. And sometimes it'll take months before it completely goes. So what I'm doing now is going in and starting to manually remove as much of this as I can. And that's the only way that I'll increase the speed on which it's removed. See, there's some back there. It's usually in low flow areas or where detritus can set in on a rock. Now, look at the flow in this area. There's a decent flow here, but it's still growing. It's probably because there's detritus that settled into some of the porousness of this rock here 
and it just grew up over the last few weeks. So I'm going in there and manually removing most of it. How can we prevent the mini blooms? Guys, you really can't. The only way you can prevent a mini bloom is by establishing the live rock in another established tank, probably for months with a large amount of coralline algae on it. And then when you put it into the new tank, you lower your risk of a mini ugly stage again on that particular live rock. So just a quick one today, guys. I wanted to let you know, don't get down if your tank is starting to show hair algae after a year or more of growing great. Your corals are doing good. Everything looks great. And then suddenly hair algae crops up. I mean, obviously you want to check your parameters and make sure your nitrate and phosphate aren't too high. But if your parameters are all looking okay, then it's just part of the fact that Things grow in a reef tank, just like your corals grow, so will algae grow, and so will hair algae grow. You just have to get in there and manually remove it when it turns up. Keep your reef cleaners in there, your hermit crabs for hair algae is good. You need a lot of hermit crabs. You probably need one per gallon if you want to see some change in your reef tank in terms of getting rid of your hair algae. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Just a short one, and I'll see you on the next video.